Welcome back sports fans to the Rockwood Sports Network. We're live at Civitan Field, Tom Pemberton Stadium as your Rockwood Tigers host their home opener against the Sweetwater Wildcats. The Tigers look to bounce back from a loss last week at Midway and pick up their first win of the year. This is the Tigers' second non-district game of the year and they look to improve their record to one and one. In the jungle, there are no room for Wildcats. I'm Chase Clem. This is the Rockwood Sports Network. Fresh off a two-week suspension, <laughs> Gavin Evans is back in the saddle. <laughs> back in two weeks at Met. <laughs> the Mandy Evans Alternative School. Chase Clem of the Rockwood Sports Network here with Rockwood head coach John Webb. Coach looking to bounce back. What was practice like this week? Well, we had a pretty good week. You know, it's one of those things that we uh, we needed a good week of practice. Our kids needed to come in with a good attitude, and uh, you know, especially Tuesday and Wednesday, I felt like we did a pretty good job of that. Uh, coach, they say you'd have your most improvement week one to week two. What are some of the things you'd like to improve on this this week? Well, you know, just uh, you know playing individual football. I know that's uh, a lot of people don't believe in that. And, you know, we talk team, 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 but, you know, we got to get every individual doing their job and uh, not worrying about everybody else. And, uh, you know, the only way we're going to be able to do that to become a good team is get all the individuals playing hard. Coach, uh, Sweetwater Wildcats are a 3A team. What can the fans expect from the Wildcats tonight? Well, you know, they're a well-coached football team. Got a, little, a lot of good athletes, a lot of, a lot of good history down there. Uh, you know they're they're kind of a, a young football team. Lost a lot of kids off last year's team, but you know they got again they got a lot of athletes out on the field. That's uh, you know can be dangerous at any time. Coach, uh, you don't you don't ever look ahead. It's uh, you know week to week. How important is the win this week for the Tigers going into kind of the the heart of your schedule? Well, it's very important. You know our kids. You know they uh, they've worked hard and you know they've heard all the stuff. You know we lost a bunch of people off last year's team and. Uh, you know, they, they, they really, you know, need something, you know, to build their confidence and, you know, to get them to understand that, hey, they could be a good football team as well and uh, that those guys that have been in the past are not walking back through the door. And, you know, I feel like we still got a bunch of good football players on this football team that can compete and can do that. Um, you know, but it's all about confidence right now. Finally, Coach, what's one thing your team has to execute tonight in order to ensure a victory? Well, we got to be able to sustain drives. You know, something we didn't do last week, you know, whether it was a turnover or a penalty or, you know, miss block or assignment or something of that nature. You know, we got to be able to sustain drives and, and uh, put some points on the board, bottom line, you know. And, and I know it's kind of stupid. You know, we got shut out last week. And, uh, but still, you know, it's one of those things that we've got to do this week in order to give ourselves a chance to win. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Good luck tonight against the Wildcats. Thank you. Thank you. 
Just Here with Sweetwater head coach Ethan Edmiston. Coach, you're in your fourth year at Sweetwater. Uh, you got your feet up. What's it like coaching at Sweetwater? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a football town, football community. Uh, a lot of support. Uh, a lot of former players that, that love Sweetwater and come back. Coach, like Rockwood and I, you're looking for your first win. Uh, what's something you all look to improve on this past week of practice? Uh, number one is uh, not turning the ball over. Uh, we want to protect the football and uh, eliminate mistakes. Uh, and other than that, you know, that that's the two, two main goals this week. Coach, what's something you've seen on field from Rockwood you think you'll have to stop or prevent in order to have a victory tonight? Uh, like always, Rockwood's big up front, offense and defense. You know, you got to win that battle at the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be a challenge for us. Uh, you know, Rockwood's always good at running the ball. Um, they got a good quarterback this year that can also throw it, so it'll be a challenge. Finally, Coach, for the fans at home, who are some of your players you might want to watch out for tonight? Um, quarterback, uh, Hunter Jenkins, number seven. He only played about a half last week. Um, and then running back, Bryce Johnson, number 16. And then wide receiver, number 10, Matthew Kyle. That's three playmates. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us tonight. Good luck against the Tigers. Thanks. Okay, we're here with Rockwood Legend Fireball Woodall. Fireball, what's your prediction for tonight? 75 to 10, Rockwood. Oh my goodness. Give me a go, Tiger. Go, Tiger. He wouldn't tell me why I dressed my cooperation. I think you'd go over there by that white team. I told you to park over there. It's a really close one. Football contest between the Indian Booster Club, which helps support, goes toward the Rockwood High School Football Booster Club, which helps support your Rockwood Tigers. Rockwood High School would like to thank everyone for all the purchases made here this evening. And we would like to ask for your cooperation. In this
I know I left a few out. Okay. So now, guess what? Guess what? We had a little bit of problem last week, didn't we? Yes, sir. So we put our hands together, myself and the rest of the coaching staff, you guys came out this week, you practiced it. What did we do? We fixed it. Yes, sir. We fixed it. But here's the problem. If there is a problem. What we gotta have is this right here. We gotta have a hole tonight. We can't have 10 out of 11 of us. I can't have. Nine out of eleven of us, or eight out of eleven of us. What I need is for you all to play together as individuals, because every individual in here, and I know that sounds stupid, because that's all y'all hear is team, 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 team. And when it comes right down to it, that's what it's about. But it takes eleven individuals in order to put this thing together and to be whole. Okay? I can't have people taking plays off. Do your job, do your job every single play, and then this whole football team is going to be right here. But you've got to do your job. You can't take a playoff tonight. There's no reason to take a playoff tonight. Nobody should get tired as much running as we've done, as much conditioning, as much weightlifting. As good as the weather is out here tonight, there's no way. There's no way. So what I'm asking you all to do tonight, guys, just like I asked you yesterday, put the big boy pants on, grow up, and come together as a football team. Because guys, our problem is right now, and you asked Mark Lim because we did an interview out there, the thing this team right here lacks is a little bit of confidence. Don't look over your shoulder, guys. Nobody else is walking back in this door. We've got good enough football players, I promise you, that we could have a successful season. But you guys, for some reason, are not believing it. Start believing in yourself. Use the ability, what little or as much as God has given you, use it tonight. Use your ability. All you've got, 100%. If that's not good enough, then so be it. So be it. But I promise you guys, if we would have done that last week, we'd be sitting here one up. I promise you. I promise you that. And I promise you tonight, if you go out there and do it tonight, then we'll be 2 0. If we are good enough, if that team's that much better than us, then so be it. You'll never hear me say anything else about it. You guys that's been with me for two, three, four years, you know that. Use the ability that God gave you and use it to the best of your ability. Don't waste it. Like last week, we wasted an opportunity. Let's don't waste another one, guys. Put the big boy pants on and grow up. And give them hell right here, guys. Let's, Let's go! go. Captains for tonight's game. First for Sweetwater, number 50, Evan Tino Guzman. Number 10, Matthew Kyle. Number 7, Hunter Jenkins. And number 77, Braden Swell. All right, Sweetwater, you're the visiting Captains team. Captains for the Tigers, number 50, Jonathan Ginn. It tails. If I drop it, we'll do it over. But I want you to call it before I toss it, okay? He said hands, right? And number 76, John Metcalf. It's tails. You win the toss. You want to defer.
Rockwood wins the toss and will defer to the second half. Rockwood has won the toss and has declined. Which goal would you like we to kick this way? Put your back to that goal. Look this way, guys. Come over here. Look that way. Okay. Rockwood. Sweetwater will receive to begin the football game. Good luck to you, okay? Three keys, three keys, there you go. 
is no good. And with four.
Johnson carries the ball for no gain on the play. We'll take this opportunity to introduce to you your 2018 Rockwood High School cheerleading squad. And let's move. Richmond members. It's Shaley Hicks. Kara Patterson. Sophomore members. Allison Wilson. Taj Basel back deep for the Tigers. Dan Brackett to kick off for the Wildcats. Touchdown, Tigers. The Tigers return for the touchdown. My number seems the extra point. Nate Brackett to hold. Jonathan Gale to snap. And the extra point is good. And with 11.04 remaining in the first.
<laughs> I hear you. Touchdown. Thank you. 
Accepted by number one, Anthony Bell.
interest of final, Auburn Springs 20, Kingston 0. This is what we're going to continue to do. 
Again, this is a long season, man. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. I promise you there's going to be ups and downs. But don't let it affect you. Come out each and every day and play. Yes, so we're better than somebody, well, we're better than them, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we took care of it. Yes, okay? If we're better than them, we'll win the ball game. If we're not, then so be it. We'll come back in on that following Monday and we'll, we'll go back to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of you may get your feelings hurt. I mean, look at the budget that I gave Anthony Bell last week. You know what Mr. K would come up to me and say? He said, you prepared that kid for life because it ain't always going to be easy. Okay? He took a good butt chew, and he might be out of the world one of these days. He took a good butt chew. Was I a little excessive with it? Probably was. Okay? Probably was. But he didn't, you know, bow his head. He had to go in there and play this week. Good bow and bow down. I thought he went pretty well with that, actually. Okay? That's what it's about. Whatever's done, it's over. Next yes, day, we'll try to correct it. All right? Yes, sir. Let's get a prayer. Great job, man. Oh, hey, hey, first of all, hey, you young guys, we've got JVD uh, coming up. He's here in probably a couple weeks, so I know, you know you're not playing right now, but hey, keep working. Keep prepared. Let's get down. Let's go. Let's get up for you. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Give us not the temptation, but we will give us unto thee, and by the Lord for thy own name. Hey, please don't make me have to come in here with freaking props to get the free game speech. That's the funniest crap I've ever seen. I was going to use money, but I couldn't find no nickels. That's Inside the locker room with quarterback Nate Brackett. Nate had two touchdowns tonight, a big bounce back win. Uh, what did y'all do different tonight? We changed some stuff up on offense, moved to the uh, wing now. That really helped us out. We just really got momentum going tonight. Um, leading up to this week of practice, uh, who, who were some of the leaders that stepped up and said, hey, guys, let's forget about this game. we got a game this week to move on to. Well, of course, Gann, he's really our team leader. He's always after people. But me and Ralph stepped up. And there were probably a couple others, but, I mean, that's the main thing. Gann's the main thing. Uh, what was Coach Webb's message to y'all before the night? Before the night? Well, we just need to put all the pieces together and it, it would be all right to try. They had a big win tonight against Sweetwater. We've got Teleco Plains next week. Uh, what are some things y'all look to improve upon to get another victory next week? We'll have to fix our counters and just fix little things that will help us out next game. And uh, you, you were able to get your uh, spiritual uh, mentor back, Gavin Evans, tonight. Uh, would you like to give a comment on Gavin Evans? It's always good to have him back. He's, we're a, we're a total package, Don Evan do. I guess you could call us that. All right, Nate, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Serious. Inside the locker room with Dylan Williams. Dylan, you had two touchdowns tonight, a load of tackles. Uh, everything seemed to come together tonight. Yeah, it felt good. Everything, everybody, our defense was, our line was great. I was great. And then I was just executing plays as the coach told me to do. Speaking of coaches, Coach Allen's inside the locker room. Would you like to send him a message? Uh, <laughs> all right. I mean, it was a big bounce back win tonight. What did you all do tonight different than at the midway game? Well, we got our line. Our line was like we hadn't messed up like on our box and everything, but we got our line situated and everything, and our box were okay. And just just going forward with the ball. And you've got a big opponent uh, next week in Teleco Plains. What are you going to have to improve on this next week to pick up another win? I'd say probably our offense line. Probably still keep like, staying with their blocks and everything, so we keep the court up protected. All right, congratulations on a big win. Good luck next week. Thank you. Here with Rockwood running back, formerly known as Taj Boyd and Taj Brazel. Taj Basil. Taj, you had three touchdowns in the first quarter tonight. Tell us about them. Well, well, the first one I had a little um, reception. Nate went out, threw it back, got a great touchdown. And the other one was a pick six. And the third one was a great run in um, for a touchdown. Taj, you played receiver last week. Uh, there were some injuries that moved you to the wing. Did you like playing wing? Yes, a lot. It got me the ball. 
a lot more than last week, and I think it showed on the field last week today. Josh, you transferred in um, as a senior. Uh, was, it a, was it an adjustment to uh, meet some of your new teammates, or, or did you already know some of them? Was it a pretty easy jail with them pretty quick? Uh, I felt comfortable coming in because these were my teammates four years ago back in middle school, and I felt it, it gelled pretty quick, and I felt comfortable. Because as a wing, you got to give a lot of credit to your O-1 tonight. How do you think they did? Oh, uh, they played great. Like, without them, I won't have – all these touchdowns. Bill, uh, congratulations on a big win tonight. Good luck next week against Teleco Players. Thank you. Inside the locker room with the Rockwood freshman, David Collett. Dave, first home game at Civitan Field tonight. Walk us through your touchdown play tonight. You know, it, uh, I came from the B gap, just blitzed through there, and uh, executed our game plan and walked that punt and scooped it up and ran in for a touchdown. So it was a scoop and score. It looked like uh, Dom was trying to get in there and take it from you. You made sure to scoop it up before he could. Yes, sir. That's right. And uh, what was going through your mind when you picked it up? Did you, would you think fall on it? Did you think scoop and score? What happened? I was thinking last year I fell on it and I highly regretted that. Make sure I'm going to scoop it and try to score. Well, congratulations on your scoop and score tonight and good luck next week against the Teleco Bears. Thank you. Here with Rockwood head coach, John Webb. Coach, a big bounce back tonight. I'm not sure anybody in the stadium expected uh, tonight's outcome. I think some of us knew we were capable of it, but um, just a big overall great win tonight for the Tigers. Well, that's, you know, deservedly so. You know, the way we played last week, you know, we, uh, uh, bottom line, we stunk it up. Um, you know, but we, we felt like we was a better team than what we played last week. We came in this week and kind of tried to forget about it and, you know, made a few adjustments and, uh, you know, came out and played well tonight. Coach had a lot of big plays from a lot of playmakers, uh, one Taj Basil. How effective was moving him from receiver to uh, wing? I know it was because of an injury, but how effective was that? Well, you know, I, we felt like it was real effective. You know, we got to get the ball in his hands, and last week we couldn't. You know, there was double covering him and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we knew that if we put him back in the backfield that we was able to get the ball in his hands on several occasions and we was able to do that. Coach uh, threw the ball impressively well tonight, ran the ball impressively well. Overall, just a, just a good game for both sides of the football? Well, I, I think it was, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, we we'll just looked at the stats and we threw for 160 something yards and rushed for well over 200. And, you know, the numbers were good. And, uh, you know, we had some big plays, you know, with uh, Taj making uh, the interception and really got us out front right there to begin the game. And, uh, you know, that was, that was just big force, built confidence. And that's what this team's been like. It's a lot of confidence. Coach, and we also noticed you had uh, playmakers from freshmen to seniors tonight. You had a, had a block punt, scoop and score. You had even a, the, the substitutes at the end of the game, they weren't just out there. They were they were making plays. Well, we really were. And, uh, you know, we we tried to tell them that. You know, you one play from, you know, playing. And, you know, we're trying to build depth. And, uh, you know, we did. I thought we did a good job of that this week, you know, getting people a lot of reps. And, uh, you know, that's what's most important right now is, you know, because you never know what's going to happen. It's a long season. Things are going to happen. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to build some depth and be able to count on some guys that are coming in, you know, off the bench and uh, ready to play for us. Coach, uh, talking into the locker room with some of the guys, uh, they mentioned Jonathan Gann as one of the maybe silent, maybe vocal leaders of the, of the locker room on the practice field. How was he during this week getting the guys maybe back into the mindset of we've got another game to play, forget about last week? Well, you know, Jonathan's come a long ways, you know, in his four years here. You know, he's uh, come from a kid that, uh, you know, battled injuries early on. You know, he comes out each and every day and he works hard and, uh, you know, he don't care to say something, you know, when it needs to be said. and. Um, you know, that's what we've got to have. You know, we've got to have some people that's going to come out and practice hard and be leaders that way, but we also got to have people that's going to say something when they need, need needs to be said. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys, and we're, we're looking for a few others to step up and do the same thing as well. Coach, and how, how, is, how important is that coming from players? Sometimes it feels like a player might take it better from a player than a coach. Well, they, uh, you know, I, I tell them all the time, they're going to get tired of listening to me. You know, they're going to get tired. It's going to start when I start preaching the same old thing week in and week out. You know, it's going to just go through one ear and out the other. So, you know, eventually, you know, they're going to tune me out. They always do. I don't care what any coach says. Uh, it's one of those things that happen, you know, over the course of talking to them every single day and hearing the same old stuff from the same person every single day. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to hear it from somebody else, and that's what we're trying to do. Coach, congratulations tonight on a big win, and good luck next week against Teleco Plains. All right, thank you.
right, here we go. And with the final score of 47 to 13, Rockwood bounces back and picks up their first win of the season at home at Civitan Field. Join us next week as the Tigers take on the Teleco Bears at home at Civitan Field. For the Rockwood Sports Network, I'm Chase Clem. We'll see you next Friday night.